fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high o silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> In the early days of the Western United States, outlaws found it easy to seize the reins of government. And during the masked rider of the plains' great fight for justice, these corrupt sheriffs and public officials did their best to defeat him. But with the help of the honest settlers, the final victory went to the Lone Ranger, and law and order were brought to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Treasure Bend! There's going to be trouble! Hello, Silver! Away! A group of men were sitting around a table in back of the Ten Strike Cafe. Among them were Sheriff Brent, Mayor Bushwhack, and Jack Tolliver, the boss of Trigger Bend. It goes without saying, gents, that there's certain folks around here that don't like the way I handle things. Uh, Tolliver, complaints have come to me from time to time. Of course, I promised to investigate. You shut up, Bushwhack. I resent that, Tolliver. My position, my dignity. Dignity be hanged. Take that hat and tailcoat away from you, and you're the same undersized fish you always were. You're an office mayor because I let you stay there. Don't forget that, Bushwank. The whole trouble, Tolliver, is that you're too confounded crude the way you swindle people. Don't tell me, Brent, how to run my business. Oh, but that trick of getting the man to run the bets way up high in a poker game. Then having Maisie spill hot coffee on him while you take a couple of aces out of his hand and... Brent! I run the ten strike the way I want to run it. If I had honest deals here, you and Bushwhack wouldn't have a dime. You get paid well for your job. But if you could only soften up a little bit, Jack. Maybe, Brent, you're tired of being sheriff. And that goes. Oh, it, it ain't that, Jack. I can find other men to put in office. No, 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 Jack. And that goes for you, too, Bushwick. Have I said anything? There's been a lot of newcomers here since the last election. You both know that. Too many of them. Altogether too many. Well, Tolliver dreaded it's your own fault they stayed here. You broke them, so they had to settle here. They didn't have the cash to go on. All right, they're here and they're going to vote. And there's too many of them. We thought it was a joke when that good-for-nothing old fool Missouri was put up to run against you. It's no joke. The doggone old fool has stopped drinking. He's taking the nomination serious. That's just it. And that old fire-eating friend of his, Mustang Mac, can swing a lot of votes his way. She'll swing a lot of votes. There'll be a lot of votes that'll go for Missouri just because he's again you. Uh, Tolliver, as I recollect, the last time there was an election, you had some uh, friendly ranchers bring all their uh, hired hands in to vote. The ranch's friend. That was what put me in office. Bushwhack, you talk too much. Now, will you dry up till I finish? There's one thing more that bothers me. I admit it's got me bothered plenty. What's that, Jack? Look, I got a paper the other day. It was tossed in the window of my house. Here it is. 
What's that? A bullet? It was wrapped inside the paper. Take a look at it. Mm, Odd-looking cartridge. It's made of silver. Silver? This here paper says that I'm to keep out of the new election. That's all it says. Just that. Nothing more. Is the note anonymous? What are you trying to do? Show off your big words again? What's that mean? Unsigned, Tolliver. Is the note unsigned? That there cartridge is all the signature that needs. You remember, Brent, the last time there was a silver bullet talked of in this town? Gosh, yes. The Lone Ranger seems interested in politics. It's Mustang Mag in Missouri. That's what he's interested in. Yeah, and I know what we've got to do, and you've got to do it, Bushwick. Anything to help, of course. My friendship for you and for Sheriff Brent will go a long oh, way. Oh, you old I, uh... four flusher. You know, doggone well, if an honest sheriff got in, you'd be jailed in no time. <laughs> uh, Tolliver, uh, what's your suggestion? You've got to call a town meeting. We've got to keep these newcomers from voting at the next election. Keep them from voting? You can't do that, Tolliver. Why? Well, we well, just can. We can and we're going to. I've got a notice all written out for you to sign, Bushwick. It's calling meeting of all the townspeople that voted at the last election. No one else. Just those that voted last election. Here, sign it. Well, I'll read it over, Tolliver. I and said under- sign it. You don't need to read it. I wrote it. I'll show Missouri and Mustang Mag a thing or two. The next day, everyone in town saw the notice tacked to the wall of the meeting house. Old Missouri read it and hurried to the home of his friend and employer, Mustang Mag. It ain't legal. It ain't right and it ain't fair. I'm a son of a gun if I let him get away with it. You stay there, horse. I'll be needing you again. Missouri! You get off of that clean porch and come around the back door. Mag, listen! That wretch old heart I got a notion to make you scrub that porch again. Look at what them boots of yours done. Sometime I swear I'm Can gonna... you win? I ain't no mood to listen to you. I'm doing the talking. Get into the house there where you can listen. Who are you talking to? You! I says get! My sakes alive. Now, sit down there. Never in all my born days. I listened all my life, and it's high time I done the talking. All right, Missouri, all right, I'm sitting. Now you start talking, and you better make it worth listening to, because when you're done, I'll start talking. I don't aim to let an old spavin stove in bow legged maverick like you that's worked as a ranny for my cows talk up to me. Not even if you get to be sheriff, which same you ain't done yet. Now talk. It's Brent. That's who done it. He put a notice up. A a notice for a meeting. And the only folks that's allowed to the meeting is them that voted last year. Well? And the meeting is called to pass a new law. What kind of a law? There's too many laws already. Half the time a man don't know when he's busting a law and when he ain't. And this year the law is to make all the folks live here for at least one year before they're allowed to vote. Uh, One year instead of three months, huh? Yeah. And that does me out of the election. The same folks that voted for Brent last time will vote for him again. Uh-huh. I begin to savvy the pole cat scheme of the crooks. Most of the newcomers here have been hoodwinked or swindled or just plain robbed by them coyotes. They lost cash to Tolliver Gambling. They had to pay special fines to Brent and Bushwhack for doing things they didn't know they wasn't allowed to do. And all in all, they're pretty darn sore at the law as it stands now. Just so. They'd vote you in office. Sure they would. And Brent knows it. But if they have to live here a year, they can't vote this election. Well, Missouri, the thing to do is to defeat that there new law when it comes up to the vote. But we can't, Meg, don't you see? Well, the ones that'll be to the meeting will be Brent's majority, and they'll vote the new law through. That's it, Meg. I'm done out in that sheriff job. If only the Lone Ranger was here. By Ginger, he'd figure a way to get around this situation. I ain't been here for a long time, Missouri. Remember when he saved this here ranch for me? I sure do. When he helped us out that last time? Gosh, I'd give a heap to see that tall, masked hombre walk right through that there door. Even Tonto would be right welcome. Now, let me think. Think? You? What did the Lone Ranger do in a time like this? Well, they do something. I can bet you anything on that. Now what? Let me see. 
Teague figured that the thing that had to be done was to prevent that there meeting in some way. Can't do that. Or maybe he'd just corral Brent and Bushwhack and Tolliver and the rest of that breed and hog tie them and shoot them, then ride them on a rail with tarn feathers. Missouri, huh? there ain't no use in you trying to think. You just plain don't get no place by it. Now be quiet and let me think. Thing for us to do is to figure some way of locating the Lone Ranger. That's the thing to do. Meanwhile, Brent, Tolliver, and Bushwhack met once more in the back room of the Ten Strike. Stop your worrying, Tolliver. I tell you, I got all my deputies on the job. Finally, can't help worrying. I had another warning just today. That Lone Ranger is around here. Nonsense. He can't be. Well, look at this, then. If this ain't another silver bullet, I'm crazy. Mm, so it is. So it is. Are you sure, Brent, you've had all the roads to town watched? I told you I had. I tell you, that gent knows things. He sends warnings to me because he knows I'm the boss and you two ain't nothing but figureheads. Now, Jack, let me put you at ease. In the first place, Mustang Mag is one of the best friends a Lone Ranger has. Ain't that so? Sure. All right. And he ain't coming here without making a call on her, is he? Mm, don't seem likely it would. Right again. Now, if he does call on her, his goose is cooked. Yeah? I got two of my best deputies watching Mag's house. If he shows there, he's captured. And if he's captured, he's jailed. And if he's jailed, he's hung by the neck. Hung? Hung for what? Horse stealing. Ah, that'd be hard to work out. Not if I claim that white horse of his is mine. But you can't. Who's to stop me? I've got the men all set to swear it's my horse. And we'll have a special jury for his trial. Made up of men that owe you cash. You savvy? Yeah, maybe I do. There ain't a smudge of risk in it. Because I got her straight from Mustang Mag some time ago. That masked gent don't kill. He'd let himself be drilled before he'd shoot to kill. I heard that. So the boys just nail him. If he tries to get away, they shoot and save the trouble of a trial. I got a handbill all made out for him. Here, here it is. Sheriff Brent, I reckon I done all right in making you the law around here. <laughs> I feel a darn sight better about things now. All I need to see that man in jail and I'll feel really swell. Just let him call on Mustang Mag, that's all. And he will if he comes here. And if he don't come here, there's nothing for us to worry about. Boys, the drinks are on me. In the shadows near the home of Mustang Mag, two men armed with six shooters and rifles waited for the Lone Ranger. If he don't show up tonight, he won't show up at all. That's the way I figure things. If he don't show up tonight, Sam, he'll be too late to do much good. The meeting's tomorrow night. Yeah, hope he does show up. <laughs> Me too. I'd give him all that's coming to him. <laughs> huh? Look yonder, someone's coming. Yeah, I see him. Get your gun cocked. Reckon it's him? Wouldn't be surprised. It looks to be a white horse. Yeah, sure does. Remember what the sheriff said about a fight? Not so loud. The sheriff said that if he did happen to put up a fight... If he did happen to get killed, then uh, he wouldn't want us to be having conscience trouble for nothing. And he'd see that we was paid extra for it. It's only got one meaning. Just so. Who's to know if he put up a fight or not? No one. All right, then. Get your gun set. He's coming close. I'm set. Is Mag near any windows in the house? Nah. Missouri's giving a speech in town. We can let him have it without being afeard at all. Now get ready. He's close by. All right, now, we'll both shoot when I give the word. Now. At him. Grab that horse. Try to shoot us, will you? Throw him to the ground. Shoot him again. He's reaching for his gun. What's going on there? Try to murder us. I shoot again. Make sure of him. You crazy fools. What's the shooting? We got him, Meg. We got him. Come here, Meg. We turned there. He got killed. What's the noise all about? Well, this horse. This is silver. This here's the sheriff's stolen horse. And there on the ground is the horse thief that tried to resist us and doggone near killed us. We had to shoot him, man. Oh, you fools! You murdering polecats, you killers! If you don't hang for this, you murder, there ain't no justice in the world. You killed him! You killed him in cold blood, name a man that never hurt a soul in all his life. A man that wouldn't shoot to kill, not even to save his own life! You killed the Lone Ranger! The Lone Ranger! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. When two of Tolliver's gunmen saw the great horse Silver outside of Mustang Mag's home, they fired shot after shot into the shadowy figure on his back. Mag reached their side too late to stop them, but branded them as murderers. We didn't have no choice, Mag. He was out to get us. That's a downright lie, and I know it. He stole the sheriff's horse. If that ain't the dirtiest... Oh, what's the use? This town's a deep sunken corruption that ain't no use looking for justice no longer. The least you can do is to fetch him into the house. Yeah, that's a good idea. Grab his feet and we'll see... What the... Hey, there's something wrong. What do you mean? This ain't a man at all. Huh? What's that? Great sakes, look! Huh? Turn slowly. Behind us! You're both covered. You better carry that dummy into the house. These are extra clothes that go back to my saddlebag. It's him! He's alive! He's alive! Thank goodness! Hurry, inside with you. There are a few things we want to talk about. He don't shoot. He won't shoot us. I'm gunning him! Oh, my hand! Oh, my sakes alive! My hand's blown off! Now, any more little tricks to try? My hand! Your hand's not even touched. I just shot away that gun before you hurt someone with it. Now, by ginger, it's time for me to take a hand. You two murdering mavericks. Maybe the Lone Ranger has some reason for not shooting to kill. But I ain't hindered that way. Get for that there house before I blow holes through your hides. Put down that rifle, man. This here's good for other things besides shooting. Oh, my head. Inside before I see which breaks first the rifle oh. in your head. Well, I'm a-going. My hand feels oh. like it's busted. Oh. 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 Get in there. Oh, my oh. head's splitting. Don't hit me oh. again. My hand oh. hurts something fierce. Oh. Oh. I'm going. I'm going. Oh. Get in there. Oh. My hand. Well, a fine pair of crooks. No. What do you think should be done with you? Uh, no, look, we had our orders. Orders to kill me without giving me a chance, huh? And the sheriff is going to try and make me out as a horse thief. We didn't have no part in it. We had to follow orders. There's one way out for you. You're going to sign a confession to the whole scheme. And when the new sheriff is elected, his first act will be to jail the present sheriff and Tolliver and the mayor and a few of the other town officials. I'll get to writing things for that confession. But if Tolliver don't... The choice don't... is yours. You'll sign that confession and take your chances on real justice, which would put the boss where he belongs, instead of you who are made to take his orders. Here's the paper and pencils. Now get writing. What in time to... Evening, Missouri. Yippee! He's here. He's come. Whoopee! <laughs> Pard, you're the finest sight I've ever seen. Uh, did you tell him, Mag? Did you tell him the ornery trick that's being done? Oh, shut your big mouth, Missouri. We got a couple of crooks here that's writing confessions for trying to murder the Lone Ranger. What's that? Why, I... Quiet, Missouri. Yes, sir. Pardon, how did you savvy what was going on? Tonto's been in town for some time, Missouri. We heard that there was to be an election and thought it would be a good time to try and get the right man into office. Uh, mean me? Missouri, while you can't ride well or shoot well... And you don't know much about law. He can't even cipher none. You are honest. And you can appoint deputies who will see the things are done. That's just what I told the folks tonight in town. I want you to be sheriff. You'll have two prisoners here. They'll be kept in Mustang Mag's stable until after you're in office. Uh-huh. Uh, but I reckon Mag didn't tell you. I don't have a chance now. Because of the meeting tomorrow night? Just so. Missouri, I heard about that. Cause an ornery trick. I think we can have that idea voted down. Nope, it can't be done. You know some people who would vote against it. Oh, I know some. Maybe 20 or 30. But Tolliver has half a hundred to vote for the new law. And they'll vote it through, and then the voting on election day will leave out all the newcomers here. But if that law is defeated tomorrow night, then what? Shucks, I'd have the election one hands down then. I see. Only it can't be done. Perhaps it can. I want you to see all your friends who are going to be at the meeting tomorrow night. Yeah? Tell them to be sure and get there early and sit in the front row. Mm, for what? Tell them to sit there and stay there no matter what happens. No matter what happens? That's right. I'm going to be at the side window of that meeting hall. Yeah, Pard. Only... Shut up and listen. Yes, sir. The mayor will have to preside at the meeting, won't he? Yeah. All right. You watch the side window for me. When I give you the signal, call for the vote. Meanwhile, we'll keep these crooks and their confessions right on this ranch. Now, don't forget tomorrow night. See your friends. Tell them to get there early. Sit in front. And stay there in spite of everything. Missouri followed instructions. 
Early the next evening, his friends were sitting in the first rows of seats in the meeting hall. Tolliver and his men waited outside for the mayor. How's it look, Tolliver? We're all right, Brent. Nothing can happen now. I've been counting. Yeah? There's 27 there already. They're all folks that'll vote for not passing the new law. 27, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I counted the boys out here. We got about 50 or more that'll vote the law through. All it takes is a majority. <laughs> well, that settles it. The law goes through and you're in office. Yeah, one thing bothers me, though. What's that? I ain't heard from that mass man again. Your boys seen anything of him? I ain't even seen the deputies I put on guard at Mag's place. Yeah, hang it all. That old Lone Ranger gets under my skin. When I get a warning, I worry, and I worry more when I don't. Well, nothing much to worry about. Hey, hey there's Bushwhack! There's Bushwhack coming. Yeah, cocky old fool. You'd think he really knowed something to see him strut around. Yeah, he knows how to handle meetings real fancy that always makes a hit with folks. Evening, Bushwhack. Ah, uh, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Time to get started, ain't it? Let's go in and get the meeting over so we can have some time left to drink to the new law. <laughs> to happen, Barnaby. But whatever it is, don't do nothing but stay setting. Now pass that word along. Folks! Folks, come to order, please. Come to order. Meeting will come to order. I uh, notice that our candidate for office has seen to it that uh, none of his friends miss anything that's said here. (laughs) Well, well, to get down to business. We've come to be a big community that's growing all the time. Bounding and leaping, I might say. <laughs> and now, uh, it ain't fair to those of us that's been here for years and years and helped to build this town from nothing to the present fine community that this town has come to be to let newcomers have a voice in things that's the equal of everyone else. It's been deemed fitting and proper, therefore, by a group of upstanding citizens to propose a new ruling. And a good ruling, too. <laughs> no, 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 no. This meeting has got to be done according to Parliament laws. Just like Congress and all other big communities does things. There ain't to be no interrupting. The law reads as follows. Whereas newcomers haven't the knowledge or experience in living in the town of Trigger Bend, the following resolve has been set forth. Read the resolve. Uh, be it known to all... That effective this date, it shall be necessary to be a resident of Trigger Bend for a term of one year before the right of franchise, that means voting, can be exercised. Now, that's fixed in a uh, sort of fancy wording. But what it means is that none of these immigrants can vote until they live here for a year. Hooray right, for that rule, and that's as it should be. No, no, no. I can't have these interruptions. Now, uh, Someone has to move that what I just read be accepted as the law. I move that. All right. Mr. Tolliver has made the motion. Now, is there any second to it? I second the motion. Now, hold on, now, hold on. This has to be done in the right way. Tolliver, you can't second it. On account you made the motion. Now, who seconded it? I will. All right. Now, we're ready to take the vote. All in favor of the... What's that? Insurance! An attack! It's outside! Come on, come on, the gun! Clean up this bitch! The sound of war cries outside of the meeting hall, Tolliver's men rushed into the street. Some of Missouri's friends started to follow them, but Missouri cried out, No! No! Set still! Stay put! This is it, boys! Stay there! The hall was over half emptied in less than a minute. It was the newcomers in town who had started the disturbance outside, and when Tolliver saw them, he shouted a command to his men. Before long, a wild fight was going on. Meanwhile, Mayor Bushwhack stood on the platform, a gavel in his hand. This, uh, this interruption, open them doors and back. We gotta keep all that noise out, Mayor. Now as to that there vote. We can't vote now. Oh, yes, you can. You call for that vote. We ain't holding up no meeting for them that can't stay in it. You already put the question, now call for the vote. What's that? You hear it, me. I've been a studying something on the law of parliament myself by Ginger. And you got a call for A's and A's. Where'd you learn that? Well, now, Mayor Bushwhack, a man in office has to know the law, don't he? But you... You old... Make that crack and buy ginger, I'll sue you for slander. What? 
And if you don't put the question right now, by thunder, this meeting ain't according to the laws and it ain't legal. And nothing that's done here counts. I never heard the like of this. Get I going, never... Bushwhack. Yeah, get going. Uh, where... Ain't Tolliver here? No, he ain't here. And if he was, he ain't nothing to say anyhow. You, you all heard the question. I sure will get the dickens for this. <laughs> all in favor of the new law, register by saying aye. Oh, my. Oh, my sakes alive. Let's have it. All them opposed. Hey! 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 That licks it, boys. That licks it. Now them, them newcomers can vote. Let's go tell them. Boys, boys, she's all over. That crooked bill's all washed out. You're all going to vote. What's that? What's that? I couldn't help it, Tolliver. Oh, swack, you confounded he idiot. He couldn't help it, Tolliver. And you'd better not have much to say, because right after that there election, when I'm the law, I'm jailing your two pards that's already my prisoner. And jailing Brent and Bushwhack and you. I don't know how he done it, Jack. I swear I don't. I'll tell you how. Tonto got these folks to raise a little rumpus in the street. And Tonto's pard told me a thing or two about the law. And if you look there beside the building, you'll see a tall gent on a white horse. He's the one, boys. He's the one that has given you all the right to vote for honest government and trigger bend. There he is, the man that made old Missouri sheriff, the Lone Ranger. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.